Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another not break uh, as it is more so a reveal video. That's right, we're going to do a PSA reveal today paired with uh, kind of a showing off of my entire slabbed collection of cards. You guys asked for it. I've gotten a lot of messages. I've gotten a lot of comments and stuff like that asking to see all my slab cards. You guys know in most videos I put up a couple of cards at least in the background. Uh, I try to theme it a lot of times with what we're breaking that day. Um, and a lot of times they're slab cards and stuff. And I put up some pretty awesome ones, you know, some doozies that you guys seem to like. Uh, and like I said, you guys have asked to see my slab collection. I've been adding to it a lot. I've acquired a lot of cards here over the last several years, especially. Um, to go with, you know, some of the years past. I mean, you know, I've been off and on and uh, collecting and stuff, but definitely full bore into it again here. Um, and anyway, so I have quite a pile of cards here. Some of these are not as expensive, which you will see. And some of these are quite expensive. I'm not going to give you prices on everything. Some of these are... I've never sold before. Some of them are, you know, like pop ones and stuff like that. Some crazy, crazy cards. You're going to see some cards with values of probably less than a dollar all the way up to, uh, you know, over $20,000 easily here today. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's get right into this. And once again, these are all of my slab cards as it stands to date. Um, that's from any company, not just PSA, even though it's going to be a PSA and uh, BGS heavy uh, kind of show off here. We're going to start with some of the cheaper stuff. So we're going to start with this little pile here. These are all BCCG which are kind of the Beckett card, uh, whatever, grading company. I can't even remember what that all stands for, but it's a kind of a garbage, you know, joke one and stuff like that. These are, you know, for the most part, not really expensive cards here. These primarily came uh, with, what was it called? Like the greatest card or pack chase in the world or something like that. You pick these blaster boxes up when you could actually find cards on the shelves at Walmart or Target or whatever. 20 bucks and they'd give you some random packs and you get like a slab card, you know, in there and, they were always kind of crappy slab cards, but, uh, you know, these are them. You know, I, I held on to them over time and stuff. Uh, not really sure what I want to do with them. But anyway, uh, BCCG are all these first set of cards here. So I'm going to fly through these cards. Like I said, we have over 100 cards total to get through. So uh, I'll kind of slow down when we get on the better cards, but let's fly through some of this stuff. So 2015 tops, Troy Tulowitzki. That's going to be a 10. Just a flagship card there. 2015 tops, Alex Gordon, 10. 2015 tops Curtis Granderson, which is a 10. 2020 Sage, uh, old rookie team, CD Lamb. I actually have two of those. Yep, both are 10s. Set those over there. 2020 Sage, all rookie team gold, James Morgan. That's a 9 on that one. This one actually is, uh, you know, kind of a decent one. I mean, a couple of these are decent. Uh, 2018 Leaf Otani Retail, uh, Shoei Otani. Technically a rookie card here uh, from 2018 Leaf. Uh, which is a 10 on this one. The guy's just an absolute beast, as you guys know in the league. 0304 Pacific Heads Up Retail, LTD. The Magnifique, Mario Lemieux, a BCCG 9 on that one. That was actually a pretty cool one that I got out of one of those boxes back in the day. And this is actually probably my favorite one uh, of these types of cards. 0506 Upper Deck Phenomenal Beginnings, number one, Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby, Game Used Jersey. Gets a 10. Uh, this is a rookie you know rookie card technically here from his rookie year and that is actually even though it's just kind of cut out and thrown in there in the top right that is a piece of game used jersey which is really really cool so i do like that card a heck of a lot as a pittsburgh guy last couple here uh 20 team playoff star gazing gold odell beckham jr we got a 10 on that and 2017 sage hit premier draft peak performance Dak Prescott uh, right there, which is a 10 as well as you saw. All right, some of these, like I said, I, I did not pay for all these cards individually by any means. Uh, you know, those BCCGs, I did not pay for any of those. Some of these I acquired like in trades, part of trades, or, you know, buying like a bulk collection or something like that. They came in or things like that. So all these I did not pay for. Um, the ones that I did, I'll probably try and let you know here, but uh, this one I did not pay for as well. This is a GMA uh, 2010 SP game used Pavel Datsuk uh, 8.5 for that one. That's an authentic fabrics game used jersey there. Not numbered or anything, but still pretty cool. From a company called CGE. Uh, this gets a gem in 10. They don't even tell you about the card or anything on the top, but this is a Sid the Kid pre-rookie card here. You can just see it's a rookie card. Uh, Hockey Canada. I uh, forget that price tag, 80 bucks there, but uh, still a pretty cool card. And that goes with actually another pre-rookie here, uh, which also gets a CGE10. Um, I think they call these rookie, yeah, rookie Review. That's it, Rookie Review. 
and it's uh, copyright 2004, as you see. So yet two, I guess, CG10, you know, Sid the Kid pre-rookie cards. Another random company here, All-Star Grading, 1819 NBA Hoops, Trey Young rookie card here. Gets a gem in 10, uh, even though you can, I don't know if you can pick it up. That top left corner doesn't even look that great. I mean, the card's in decent shape. I don't know about 10. And they actually break down there on the back, and you see that one corner actually got a 9. Uh, but that was kind of a throwing card, so I was actually perfectly fine with getting that. These two I picked up. Uh, I got great deals on these. Not the best company, but FGS. 9091 Upper Deck, a Pavel Bure Young Guns rookie card. Gets a Mint 9 to go with uh, same year. Young Guns Peter Bonder rookie card, which gets a Gem Mint 10. Um, I paid like a buck for each of these, so not the best company, but who the heck cares? That is awesome. To get to the uh, kind of all-time greats there in the NHL. This is definitely not a legit company, but uh, I was all about the card because I got these for like under a dollar a card as part of a big deal. Uh, company just says Mint, you know, nothing more. They give you a number and stuff like that. They give you this all this stuff. It just says authentic memorabilia if you can't read that. And it gives you this number. There's no way to look this up. I've searched. I've asked some friends. I've asked some people inside the hobby. Nobody can figure out this company. It's probably just a ripoff company. But the cards are real, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 2018 Tops, Shoyo Tani, uh, and they say it's the first grade, which would have added a lot of value if it was, you know, like PSA or something like that. But uh, that's not the case here. But it's a Gem Mint 10, you know, in their opinion. Point is, at least it's the uh, sought-after rookie card there from Series 2. And then there's the other one from the uh, Mint Company there. 2018 Tops Fine, show you a Tawny uh, rookie card, which also gets a 10. And it's, again, the first grade, I'm sure, from that company. Yeah, right. But still, the cards are cool. All right, here's some random cards. Let's get through these very quickly. No rhyme or reason with a lot of these. We're going to fly through these. These are all going to be PSA, I think, in this pile. I'll tell you otherwise. I'm not going to repeat PSA every card, and I'll just say the grade to make it easy. So 2002 Upper Deck Grade, David Gerard, making the grade, rookie, a level one. That gets a gem in 10. You can see that's numbered out of 700. I might miss some of the numbering to point out to you guys because we're just kind of cruising here, but uh, just forgive me for that. 2004 Finds Julius Jones, gem in 10 on that one. Rookie card there. Uh, rookie here of 2007 Tops Performance, Kevin Kolb. Gem in 10. 97, Donruss Preferred, Tony Gonzalez. That gets an 8. Rookie card there. Most of the, all of these are rookies, as you can tell. Um, 2000, Bowman Chrome. Rookie card here of Brandon Phillips, which gets a 9. 90, PGA Pro, uh, Tour Pro Set, Jack Nicklaus, PSA 8. 2003, Donruss. Ichiro, Ichiro Suzuki to some. Uh, Diamond Kings Insert. Mint 9 on that one. 2018 Contender Steph Curry. It's just a base card, but it was a uh, gem in 10. One of those throwing cards I picked up along the way. 99 Upper Deck MVP Donovan McNabb. Got a uh, mint 9 on that. Aaron McNair here from uh, 2000 College Edge. Graded. Steve McNair uncirculated. A mint 9 on that one. 73 Tops. Guy Lafleur. Uh, 7 on that one. 2014 Bowman Platinum Top Prospects. Clint Frazier got a mint nine on that. 97 uh, Pinnacle Certified. The great one, Wayne Gretzky there. A mint nine on that. From 99 Upper Deck Retro. Uh, Distant Replay. Lim Nafik again. Mary Lemieux. Mint nine. 2012 Finest. Uh, Ruben Randall. Atomic Rookie Die Cut. We got a gem in 10 on that one. 2000 College Edge graded Jamal Lewis uncirculated got a mint nine there. 2004 Tops traded Houston Street gem in PSA ten. Uh, 1991 Arizona State uh, Collegiate Collection Black Back Barry Bonds got a BGS. This is a BGS one here. BGS nine, which is a mint. And then this is a cool one from BGS. Uh, 2012 National Treasures Greatness Materials. Number 8, Honus Wagner out of 25. We got a BGS 8.5. You can see the subgrades yourself. But that is Game Used Bat from Honus Wagner. That is a pretty cool one, and you can see it's numbered. It is 25 of 25, so that's a pretty cool one right there. A couple of authenticated autograph cards here, both from SGC. Again, no rhyme or reason. This was a throw, and the other one I, I saw it at. Uh, you know, this one obviously I didn't seek after. But 2012, uh, Topps Heritage Miners, number 53, Gregory Polanco. It's an SGC Authentic for his on-card autograph right there. You guys know that, uh, yeah, he has fizzled out completely. 
This one I did uh, seek out, though, from SGC. Again, it's authenticated. 1964-65 Topps Tallboys. Gordy Howe, authenticated autograph right there. That nice red pen right on that card. That is pretty cool for Mr. Hockey right there. I like that card a lot. All right, let's start to really kind of increase the values here a little bit, as you'll see here going on. These are all the same player, believe it or not, this next stack. So we'll fly through this one. 2019 Bowman. Wander Franco Paper Prospects. That's his first Bowman paper version, a Gem Mint 10, the number one prospect in all of baseball, even though he's playing now. Wander Franco, once again, that's his paper. Here's the Chrome one to go with the paper. We got the uh, 2019 Bowman Wander Franco Prospects. Chrome, first Bowman. Gem Mint 10 on that, and I have not one. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, make it a dozen, 12 of the exact same, all in the Gem Mint 10. Uh, I was heavy into this player. I'm still kind of hanging on to these for sure. If I sold these right now, I got in early on him, I could probably make 15 fold on my money. Uh, I'm still kind of hanging on to most of those. I might look to move a couple, but uh, definitely pretty cool, and I'm glad I got in early on. Here's some pretty good baseball greats. Uh, 2017 Tops Alex Bregman rookie card here. That's a mint nine. I believe these are all going to be PSA in this pile. 2018 Tops update Ronald Acuna Jr. at bat in blue jersey rookie card there. Gem mint ten. Uh, yeah, you guys know Mike Trout. Everybody's into the Mike Trout and stuff like that. This is his first Chrome card, which you know is a big deal in the sports. Everybody wants the player's first Chromes or their Chromes rookies. Well, he had no Chrome rookie card in 2011, uh, but this is his first Chrome card. So even though it's not his rookie year, this is considered his kind of Chrome rookie card, if you will, uh, from 2012 Topps Chrome. That's a Gem Mint 10 on there. His cards prices have absolutely been heading up, up, up for sure. And this one's becoming quite sought after. And that's to go with my 2011 Topps Update flagship uh, Mike Trout rookie card there, which is a Gem Mint 10, of course. Some other players I'm definitely big in on, especially recently, uh, these next few. I think they're on their way to the halls uh, based on some stats and stuff like that. 2012 Tops, Bryce Harper rookie card there. Gem Mint 10 on that. 2013 Tops update, Nolan Arenado, Gem Mint 10 rookie. To go with another 2013 Tops, Manny Machado fielding rookie there, Gem Mint 10. I have not one, but two. 2014 Tops update, Mookie Betts batting rookie cards there. Both are Gem Mint 10s. Newest member of the 500 Club, 2000 Tops traded, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, Gem Mint 10 on that rookie card right there. And then I have not one, but two. 93 Tops flagship from Series 1, Derek Jeter rookie cards, both are Gem Mint 10s. To go with my 93 SP, Derek Jeter foil rookie cards, both are PSA 8s. Some vintage stuff here. I love this one, especially being a Pittsburgh guy. 1955 Tops Roberto Clemente rookie card. That is a PSA 3. Heck of a card right there. Always wanted to have one of those in the PC. That is cool to have. I love this guy as well. SGC card here, actually. 1957 Tops Don Drysdale rookie card. Uh, this was back when they actually broke down the scores and didn't just give you like the 1 to 10 number. So it got a near mint 7, but they actually break down until you get an 84 out of the 100 scale there. So uh, Donnie Drysdale rookie card. From 1957 tops in the SGC holder. And then another SGC for Donnie Drysdale. This one uh, is from 1969 tops. It even tells you the year deceased, 1993. It's an authenticated auto on card. Nice uh, blue pen. Don Drysdale, autograph card. Once again, 1969. A 1959, or I'm sorry, 55 tops Sandy Koufax rookie card, which is a PSA 4. I love Sandy Koufax. Probably my favorite pitcher of all time. To go with a BVG, which is Beckett uh, Vintage Grading Company. This is authenticated, 1958 tops. Uh, once again, you can see it's authenticated. On-card autograph of Sandy Koufax. Uh, pretty cool one there for sure. 1948 Leaf Babe Ruth. That is a PSA 2. I've always wanted an original Babe Ruth card, so this is definitely one of the centerpieces of my PC. In pretty good shape, as you can see as well. And then uh, we'll go even older. 1933 Gaudi Hack Wilson. PSA a good plus 2.5. This is your all-time RBI leader. Still holds that record to this day. A very good example of the card, even though it's a 2.5. It's a very, very nice example. Soft, 
soft corners and stuff. I get that top right corner is a little bit off, but uh, you know the rest of the card here in general is really, really good shape. Once again, your all-time RBI leader right there. All right, let's go to yeah. Let's continue with baseball. This is a stack. You guys know my number one PC player. I'm gonna show you this stack right here. Pete Alonso, the polar bear. That is my number one PC player uh, for baseball. I'd say, guys, he still kind of holds that title. Uh, hopefully, he goes on a tear next year. He's kind of hot and cold back and forth. You know, these last you know year and a half plus. Hopefully, he picks it up again next year and just tears up the league. But uh, you guys know I have a much larger collection than what's before you here with uh, Pete Alonso, including much rarer cards even. But uh, these are my slab cards because this is just my slab video here. So this is my slab cards of Pete Alonso. Uh, every one of these are rookie cards that we're about to see. So from 2019 tops now, uh, Home Run Derby bonus. Got a 10 on that. I'm not going to say the name because, once again, these are all Pete Alonso rookie cards here. Uh, 2019 tops living. Got a gem mint 10 on that one. Let's go flagship. We got uh, actually two different ones here. 2019 tops uh, Series 2. Gem and tens on both of those. This one's labeled sock top showing. No real difference though. Um, it was just the way I guess the people entered it and stuff like that. But the exact same card, right there. So two of the flagship rookies. Then 2019 tops chrome. Uh, we got a gem and ten on that. That's that rookie. So the same kind as the paper version. Then from the complete set, uh, from 2019 chrome complete set, we got a ten on this one. Different photo there. I like that one a lot. 2019 tops chrome sapphire edition. Another gem mint 10 on that. You'll know, I believe actually all these are going to be 10s too. Um, I, I think, yeah, pretty much 10s. Uh, you'll see what I mean here momentarily. Uh, 2016 Bowman Draft. This is the paper version. Uh, first Bowman here. Got a, a gem mint 10 on that. And that will go with some Beckett's going to be mixed in here with the Alonzo because it was just only the only choices I had at the time. I might crack these cases and actually resubmit some of these to PSA. I just prefer PSA still, even though I know, you know there's some mixed feelings in the air right now. I'm still a PSA guy, I guess, overall. Uh, but anyway, 2016 Bowman Draft, first Bowman. Uh, so Gem Mint 9.5. You guys, I'm not going to read you off the subgrades and stuff like that. But that is going to be out of 499 on that one. So you guys will note the rainbow theme here that's going to be going through this Bowman. I'm trying to complete the entire rainbow. You guys will see where I'm at today. Uh, that was paper, that last one. This is paper as well. Uh, so first Bowman, paper. Uh, this one's going to be a BGS 9, but this one is the gold out of 50. Once again, it's the paper version, though. Now let's get into the chrome stuff of the uh, 2016 Bowman Draft. So here is Bowman Draft first Bowman uh, chrome version. Also, this is a PSA 10, and I actually have two of those. Then we got the chrome refractor taking it up a level. That is a 10 on that. No numbering on those refractors then, but uh, we got a 10 on that. Then we move on to the Chrome Sky Blue Refractor, uh, also a 10. No numbering on the Sky Blue, but this is kind of one of their parallels. Then everything from this point will be numbered. Uh, this will be GS 9.5 on this one. This will be the purple Chrome Refractor out of 250, as you can see. And then we go lower numbered. We get the Blue Refractor, also a 10 out of 150. Back to BGS, we got 9.5 on here. This is the green, which is out of 99, as you can see. These are all chrome, mind you, right now that we're in. Uh, then another BGS 9.5 on the gold, which is out of 50. And then a PSA 10 on the orange, which is out of 25. And then we got the uh, chrome auto refractor, first Bowman here from uh, 2016 Bowman Draft. We got a 10 on that. So that's pretty cool, and it's out of $4.99 on those refractor autos. And a couple of random ones, but really good ones. 2018 Bowman Platinum. It's kind of, you could kind of consider a rookie card. It's like a pre-rookie. Top uh, prospects. Gem Mint 10 on this, no less. Uh, autographs, red version. You can see it's out of 10. Uh, sticker auto, but who cares? My boy right there, the Polar Bear. And the last one I have right here is from 2019 Don Russ. Rated prospect, kind of rookie card. I'll use that term loosely again. Rated Pro Material Signatures, uh, really a really nice three-color patch card right there. Sticker Auto again, but it's a Gem in 10, and that, oh, there's the numbering right there on the front. That is out of 10 as well. Uh, so a really good one right there for the PC as well. All right, let's continue on here with this stack. Looking down to the uh, heavy hitters, I'd say now for sure. We're going to start getting definitely exponentially higher here in some of these values. 
Uh, another Beckett, though, here we're going to start with some hockey cards here. So BGS 9.5, pre-rookie rookie, I guess, of uh, Alexi Lafreniere from 1718 Upper XCHL, the star rookie card right there. Uh, 1617 Upper Deck, Braden Point, Young Guns rookie card. We got a PSA 10 on that. And then we got, how can you not have the great one? Uh, we got a Wayne Gretzky MNT on this one. Uh, MNT 3.0, and there's the subgrades and stuff like that. But this is the OPG version. 7980 uh, OPG Wayne Gretzky rookie card right there. And again, that's a 3.0 from MNT. The OPG, not the tops, which OPG is the much more valuable one. And that's going to go with uh, the other one I have. I have two of them. This one's a PSA, though. This is a PSA 4. 7980 OPG Wayne Gretzky rookie card right there. Nice example. And then 85-86 OPG Mario Lemieux rookie card right there. That's a PSA 8. Again, uh, you could get this in tops, but uh, OPG was definitely at that time the more desirable one of the two, the much more valuable one of the two. And then I have not one, but two. PSA 10s, 05-06, Young Guns, Sid the Kid, rookies right there. Glad to have those. I have no intention of ever getting rid of those if I can help it. And then this one, I love this card. Uh, it's BGS. I'm actually thinking about cracking this and possibly submitting this to PSA. We'll see, though. I don't know. But BGS 8.5-05-06 SPA Limited. Future Watch Auto Patch. So Sid the Kid on-card autograph. Nice patch from the jersey. That's out of 100, if you can see right there as well. So nice Sid the Kid rookie card right there. Rookie patch auto card. And again, that's out of 100. And it's a 10 on the autograph, actually, as you can see on the back as well. So that's a nice little subgrade there and stuff. But uh, pretty cool there. Then here's a real sick one here from 0506 Series 2. The Grade 8 Alexander Ovechkin Young Guns rookie card here. It's a PSA 9 on the card itself, which has quite a bit of value. But then here's the, the kind of key thing here. PSA DNA certified. That's right. That's an on-card autograph right there from Alexander Ovechkin. So on-card autograph rookie. So PSA 9 on the card, and the uh, the autograph is authenticated, which is makes it exponentially more valuable. Some Connor McDavid stuff. Let's see where we're at on these slab McDavid's at this point. So I got a PSA 10, 15, 16 flagship, Young Guns, Connor McDavid, rookie, to go with from 15, 16, Series 2, the McDavid Canvas Young Guns rookie card, which is a PSA 10 as well. This one I pulled out of a pack. I'll probably never get rid of this card. Um, my very first submission ever to PSA actually as well 1516 SPA my Car McDavid uh, Future Watch Auto uh, which we got a mint 9 on the card and a 10 on the autograph that's out of 999 what a sick pull uh, last I checked I want to say it's a very low pop count I don't remember for sure I think it's like a pop 4 maybe on this for that exact uh, you know grade and stuff then from 1516 SPA, we're taking up a notch. I still have this card for right now. I'm debating about selling it. I kind of go back and forth in my head because I'd actually like to get this card in. Or I'm sorry, not that card. I'd actually like to get this card to go with Sid the Kid because I don't have Sid the Kid's playing Future Watch Auto. I'd like to get a PSA 10 of his Future Watch Auto. So I may have to sell this to kind of work my way towards that. We'll see. But anyway, I still have this for right now. So... 1516 SPA, McDavid limited autograph patch, his future watch auto patch. Uh, once again, out of 100, I'll try and show you guys, 94 of 100, so three off the jersey number. Nice on card auto, nice patch right there. That's got a PSA 10 on that, or I'm sorry, PSA 8 on that. That one, I believe, is also a pop four in that grade. This is a pop one, and you can probably figure out why. Uh, 1617 Upper Deck, Series 1 Austin Matthews, Young Guns rookie card here. But here's where it goes radical. So it's a gem in 10 on the actual rookie card itself. But then you got the PSA DNA certified authenticated autograph. That's right, because this is an on-card autograph uh, from Austin Matthews. And then here's where it gets even more radical. It's inscribed 2017 Calder. Um, so what a, what a sick card. Like I said, this is a pop one. It's the only one in the world of this card. Probably will remain as such. Uh, just a really, really cool card in the PC there. And then that goes with uh, his Young Guns Canvas rookie card here from 1617 Upper Deck. That's an SGC holder there, I know, but it's a Gem Mint 10. The subgrade they gave was a 98. So I'm sure I could probably crack that and get a 10 from PSA if I wanted to do that on that, but uh, we'll see. 
All right, let's take it to this. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Some football now. 2017 Panini Donruss Optic. Patrick Mahomes, the second. This is the Lime uh, Parallel card here, the Rayed Rookie Parallel Lime Parallel, uh, which was a retail exclusive, I believe. Uh, we got a Gem Mint 10 on that bad boy right there, though. No numbering or anything like that. But that card is uh, north of five grand right now. At the last check on this one for sure. Really, really cool card. Speaking of cool cards, whether you like them or not, I mean, all-time great. Some of these players you might not agree with and say, hey, they're jerks or this and that and stuff. And I'm not saying he's that. I'm just thinking of this right now because a lot of people either love or hate some of these guys. But you have to respect that uh, some of these are the all-time greats in their sport, if not the GOATs. Uh, 2000 Upper Deck graded Tom Brady PSA 9 rookie card. That is out of 1325, but that is a Tom Brady rookie card. So that was cool. I definitely wanted one of those in the PC. Old school here, 1957 tops. Johnny Unitas PSA 6 rookie card right there. Love Johnny Unitas. That is a, a pretty cool one. I'll probably keep that one forever as well. Some basketball here. We got a few of the same here. So from 92 upper deck, Shaquille O'Neal MVP holograms uh, rookie card right here. We got a PSA 8 on it. I got one, two, three, four of those in the eights. Then we got an 8.5, and last but not least, we have a Mint 9. Uh, I picked up a few of these because, honestly, I think this is one card that's going to go up in value. These are really hard to get decent grades on uh, just because of the black borders and stuff like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a harder card to get a decent grade on, so I think that's one. It's trending up right now, and I think it's just going to only keep going up, so I want to get in on that while they are still reasonably priced. Then we got 2018 Panini Prism Luka Doncic rookie card right there. That's uh, the base and stuff, but still is Prism, which everybody wants, uh, which is a gem and 10 on that one to go with from the same year, uh, same brand and everything. Kind of the flagship, the Prism rookie of Trey Young, which is going to be a gem and 10 as well. From 96 SP, we got the Kobe Bryant rookie card right there. It's a PSA 10. Uh, I was kind of debating which card I wanted to go with, and I actually chose to just go with this one because I like the kind of portrait picture there. It's, I just thought it was really cool. Cool one to hold on to there, and they are going to be making a movie about him here in the very near future. I think that card value is going to go up even higher, but I'm not looking to move it. I just kind of wanted to have it. Uh, Steph Curry, man, it's absolutely destined for the hall as well here. 2009 uh, tops PSA 7 Steph Curry rookie card right there. That's a pretty cool one. And again, this is definitely one of the love it or hate it guys, but I mean, he's going to go down as one of the all-time greats for sure, no matter what, if not the all-time points leader. Uh, so I think his cards are going to go up even higher still probably. Uh, 2003, 2004 tops. LeBron James, PSA 9 rookie card right there. Uh, wanted to have at least one of those in the PC. All right, we're getting down to it, and we're going to do the PSA reveal here momentarily. Last card that I had uh, slab prior. And there's a reason to show you this right now. 86 Fleer, Michael Jordan rookie card to PSA 5. I always wanted a Michael Jordan rookie. It's kind of one of the iconic cards of all time. Uh, you just got to kind of have it. The reason I show you this last, if you guys remember, i show you guys recently that I picked up a, a Michael Jordan rookie card from, I'm going to throw this up in the background here, a Michael Jordan rookie card, like a flea marker or something like that. It's part of a kind of large deal of cards. Honestly, guys, you're not going to believe me, but it's the truth. You know, I paid like 10 cents for the card. Uh, when you average out all the cards I bought, it was like 500 cards. I think it was like maybe 10 cents or less uh, for each card I paid. And I'll show you guys what's up here. This is the card I'm talking about right here. This was in that pile. Um, and like I said, I got this for less than 10 cents. I'm like, there's no way this is real. But I looked at it and looked at it, and I'm like, that really looks real. Some of my friends said it looks real. I'm like, what the heck, let's send it off. It's going to be expensive, you know, boo-boo, if it comes back being fake. Uh, but how the heck about that it's real? we got a PSA 4 on it. I can't even believe it, guys. So I now have two Michael Jordan rookie cards here. i got a PSA 4 and a PSA 5. Uh, just insane. I, I can't believe it. Like I said, this is the find of my life. Got this for less than 10 cents. I mean, I spent a couple hundred to get slabbed here uh, and graded and stuff like that. But wow unbelievable 10 cents on this card and uh you know we got that that's just unreal so that is freshly back from psa and i got two other crazy cards to show you guys that i just got back this week it was a three card submission so that was card number one card number two from 2019 tops chrome 
We got the X-Fractor variation rookie card here. Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, you guys tell me what you think. You know, what did that look like to you guys? To me, I was hoping for a 10, but in all honesty, just the way my luck goes, I was like, I'm probably getting a 9 on it. But uh, got this bad boy back, and we got a 10. So a 6 at card there. You know, that card's uh, right around 2,000 or so. Uh, in the Gem Mint 10 version. So that was a really cool one. And then last but not least, this uh, was really, really cool. I actually pulled this card on the channel, guys, maybe about a year ago or so. I think you can find it. If you go to look for this uh, and search one of my videos, it's like 1617 um, Series 1, you know, hobby box break. I pulled this clear-cut second-year Connor McDavid card. Uh, out of the hobby box, and I was like, that's a cool card and stuff like that. And, I, you know, in my head, I'm like, hey, maybe that's like a $20, $30 card or something like that. Uh, no, <laughs> that card's worth way more, and I, I did not realize even at the time how rare this is. So I decided, I was like, it's a clean card. It's his second-year card. He's, he's you know, on his way to going down as one of the all-time greats. Um, so let's let's just get it slabbed up and stuff like that and see what we can get. And I had no idea what to honestly expect with it being a clear cut and everything else, but how about this? We got a gem in 10 on that bad boy. So 16, 17 upper deck, series one, Connor McDavid, second year card, clear cut. Gem in 10 on that. And at the time that I got this back, which was only about a week ago, this was actually a pop one. So it was the only one in the world of this card, um, which is just insane. You know, second year clear cut, Connor McDavid. I, I've seen raw ones of uh, the clear cut version of this, the raw ones. Uh, I've only seen like one or two on eBay. They're selling for around a thousand dollars. And once again, this is a PSA ten of that, and it is a pop one. Uh, at least when I recorded this video. Um, so what a what a PSA kind of submission return there. That was an awesome awesome return right there. So two PSA tens to go with the Michael Jordan. I can't believe came back as a real card. We got a PSA four on that. Uh, but yeah, guys, there you go. I know it was a longer video, but that is my entire slab card collection uh, to date. Constantly adding to it, constantly looking for more. I got my sights on some big cards. Hopefully, I'll be showcasing those here on the channel uh, as I as I acquire them. Hopefully, I acquire them. That is. But uh, yeah, guys, please do me a favor: like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. If you hung in here this whole video, give yourself a thumbs up as well because I much appreciate you guys sticking in there to check out my slab card collection. Other than that, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a normal break. And, uh, yeah, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we'll see you next time.